Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to be talking about how WP Engine uses Istio to accelerate building products. My name is Rahul Deer, and I'm a software engineer at WP Engine, working on our internal software delivery platform. A little bit about WP Engine first. WP Engine is a premier WordPress hosting company that has over 1,000 employees globally, and our WordPress hosting platform is handling over 1.5 million websites, which handles over 5 billion page requests per day. Not more than a few years ago, WP Engine decided to invest in building an internal platform for our services. We call this our software delivery platform. And what this exactly is, it's a multi-tenant platform for hosting both REST and gRPC services. The platform is largely powered by Istio, and specifically, we're using a managed version of Istio that's provided by Google Cloud called Anthos Service Mesh. And we're going to dig in on this a little bit later in the talk. Some of the other features of our platform are that we use containerized build pipelines, which means that each build step in a build pipeline executes within a container environment. We also use GitOps to deploy changes to our Kubernetes infrastructure. And this is great for ensuring consistency between our desired state and what's actually running on the infrastructure. We also perform policy enforcement using Kubernetes admission control to ensure all of our applications are meeting our policy requirements. Our platform is in early days, but we've seen rapid growth over the past several months. We have over 20 engineering teams using the platform, and the platform is serving over 30 applications that are receiving traffic in production. Just in the past quarter, we had over 750 deployments on the platform, and we're seeing this number rapidly grow. Some of the goals of our platform are to streamline processes for building, operating, and maintaining services. We wanna provide a self-service model for engineers to be able to consume platform features. And we wanted to increase consistency between different services at WP Engine so that when engineers move from service to service, they have a consistent experience using the same set of tools. We wanna provide a secure by default configuration using least privilege where possible. And we also wanna ultimately reduce the amount of code needed to build a service. So let's talk about some of the benefits of the platform and how Istio enables them. First and foremost is observability. Istio provides us logging, metrics, and tracing out of the box. And through our integration with Anthos Service Mesh, we get golden signal dashboards for applications just by deploying them into our infrastructure. And these dashboards we found have covered about 80% of our observability use cases. So it's great to be able to deploy an application and have visibility into it off the bat. We also get a topology graph that shows dependencies between different services. And we found this very useful for identifying points of integration between different services and also identifying clients for services. Through the integration that Antho Service Mesh has with Google Cloud, all of our metrics, logs, and traces are fed into Google Cloud's operation suite. So we have one single pane of glass for observability across the entire platform. We also use the Anthos Service Mesh console as a service catalog for our developers to discover different services that are available on the platform that they may want to integrate with. Some of the security benefits we get from the platform are that service to service auth is greatly simplified using Istio's MTLS capabilities. Before the platform, Services at WP Engine were exposed to the public internet and would communicate over the public internet, which meant that engineers were responsible for creating an identity for their service, setting up DNS, SSL, load balancing, and all of the other ingress related resources that are required. With our platform, the platform team is responsible for managing both the load balancing and ingress capabilities for the Istio ingress gateway, and application developers can just focus on building their applications. When systems outside of the service mesh want to integrate with systems within the service mesh, we're using Google service accounts to represent their identities. And we use Google service account tokens along with Istio's 
JOT authentication and authorization capabilities to accept those requests. Part of our tenant model was to use namespaces to isolate different tenants. So each application has its own dedicated namespace and GCP projects. As part of implementing this multi-tenant platform, we determined that we needed some policies in place to provide some of this tenant isolation. And we're leveraging Open Policy Agent's Gatekeeper to write some custom policies that we can enforce via Kubernetes admission control. Well, one of these examples is a policy that we wrote to ensure that different virtual services and different namespaces that are matching the shared ingress gateway have unique HTTP route matches to avoid any sort of routing conflicts or ambiguity. And some of the reliability benefits we get from our platform and as operators is via Anthos Service Mesh. Because of its being a managed version of Istio, we get automated Istio control plane upgrades as well as data plane upgrades, which greatly simplifies operations for us as a platform team. It means we no longer have to roll individual proxies when we're doing control plane upgrades. Instead, that's all automated for us. We've also stood up a global rate limit service to ensure stability of different services on the platform. And this is integrated directly into the Istio sidecar using Envoy's rate limit API. As I mentioned earlier, we're using GitOps for deployments to our infrastructure but we're also deploying across multiple zones in our cloud provider to mitigate any zonal outages. Now let's talk about some of the lessons we've learned as we've adopted Istio and through our journey. The first lesson we learned was uh, learned the hard way. We learned this through an application outage where the sidecar was fully saturated and no longer able to accept requests. After this incident, we performed some load testing for our sidecar and determined that it can handle up to 1,000 requests per second with the stated resources. We performed the same load tests for our ingress gateway and determined it handles 1,500 requests per second at the same level of resources. As a result, we scaled out our gateway and sidecars accordingly by adding horizontal pod autoscalers, additional replicas, pod disruption budgets for the gateway and other resources to improve the reliability. One of the lessons we learned early on in building the multi-tenant platform was that we were putting tenant specific resources into the global Istio system namespace. Now, this is problematic because it requires that tenants have right access into Istio system, which is where global mesh related configuration lives. This is a potential security concern, so we actually back that out and move those resources into the tenant specific namespaces. And as our usage of Istio advanced, we also learned that we had to have a better understanding of Envoy. Specifically, when working with Envoy filters, it, you're required to have a pretty good understanding of how Envoy itself works. Another challenge was that rate limiting doesn't work completely out of the box. Envoy and Istio provide the APIs for rate limiting but it's up to the user to implement the actual rate limit service, which is something that we had to do. We also learned as we troubleshooted more and more through different problems that we encountered that the Envoy admin API is very useful for enabling things like debug logs or getting configuration dumps for proxies. Another nuance of working with Istio was that Kubernetes jobs don't terminate automatically when their sidecar is installed. Now, this isn't a limitation of Istio, but more so of Kubernetes itself. So it requires some extra care into programming the termination. Some of the future plans we have for our platform are to adopt canary deployments, chaos engineering drills, and to integrate Istio with Open Policy Agent for authorization. We're also interested in implementing a feature like what we call preview deployments, which allows developers to deploy changes into a subprod live environment without going through the CICD pipeline to be able to test things very rapidly. We also like to extend our mesh beyond Kubernetes onto other platforms, and that's something we're looking into. If any of this sounds interesting to you, it's good to know that WP Engine is hiring. We're hiring for both engineering and product roles, and some include even 100% remote. So if you're interested, check out the QR code or link below. And that's all I had to share today. So thank you for listening. Again, my name is Rahul. And if you're interested in connecting with me, you can check out the links below.
Thanks again.